pulling the sleeves on a 1950 Ford 8N and I have not taken the block out of the tractor. The bearings are good, the crank is good, so no need to remove any of that, but the pistons and sleeves are extremely worn, so I'm going to put in a new piston and sleeve kit. So there's lots of pullers out there on the market for taking 8 inch sleeves out, but most of them, or many of them, assume you have the block out and you can turn it over and pound the sleeves out from the bottom side. Well that's just not possible if you're not taking the tractor all the way down, and which I assume is the case fairly often. Well not very often, but sometimes. So I have a puller that my dad made, I don't know, 50 years ago. And basically it consists of a piece of pipe. The piece of pipe just sits over the cylinder. It has a screw that goes down through the pipe, like so. And it has a, a puck made to fit the top of the sleeve. And it's a one inch threaded rod. And there's a washer on there so that it has a slip surface when you're turning it. On the bottom side, you have another puck that fits the sleeve. Now I made this one because I didn't have one already that fit the sleeve. I'm trying to find what I did with the sleeve. It's back here with all the parts. So there's the puck and it fits. That's the bottom side of the sleeve. So from the underside you put that, put the hole through the rod, the hole in the puck through the rod or the rod through it and you put it up onto the, fit it into the sleeve and then you put a nut on the bottom side. So this nut goes on the bottom side up against the puck that is now inserted up into your sleeve. So now we have the sleeve puller on the tractor. Got the uh, nut snug, and I hope we can get a picture here underneath. You can see the puck is up in there, nuts on the bottom, and the puck is centered and seated into the sleeve. Make real sure that you have it seated before you start trying to pull it so you're not pulling on the block. Ideally, you'd have a wrench to fit this, but I don't have one that size. And you can't use a socket because as you pull the sleeve, the rod comes up through here, however long your sleeve is. So, first thing is, you want to feel it move. And that just moved. I heard it and I felt it. And now, it's just a bunch of hard work. The farther you go, the easier it gets because the sleeve's coming out. But you'll work up a good sweat. Almost there. It's getting quite easy now. And it's out. There's the sleeve. So this method works, pardon me, quite good. Easily obtainable materials. The only thing you would need to have a machine shop for is to turn this piece and the puck on the bottom. 
Two more to go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you understand how you can get the sleeves out of your 8N while it's in the tractor.